Hey, my name is Phil from FunnelScene.com. In this quick tutorial, I just wanna show you how you can add comments inside of your online courses using System.io. Now, this feature has just been launched as of April 29, so it's only less than a week old, but pretty excitingly, you can go ahead and add a course module to your existing course pages, and then your students can go ahead and ask questions and engage with other posts inside of there. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that really quick if you haven't seen the post make sure you check out the system group and then look for this post by Aurelian it's extremely easy to use now just before we get started if you haven't yet got system and you're thinking about it I've got my full course funnel scene which is going to give you everything you need to get set up with system plus if you are an existing member there is a special going on right now so go ahead and check out funnelscene.com so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing you want to do is load up your course editor. So as you can see here, I'm inside my funnel, uh, my funnel scene course. And what you want to do is come down on the left and scroll down until you see comments. Now there is Facebook comments and there's also a Twitter share button. I'm not going to be talking about those today. However, I am going to be dropping in this comment module. And once again, it's drag and drop. So just simply drag it across to where you want it to go and drop it in. Now this is the comments module right here and it does come with a few pre-created example text, what it could say. For example, this has got Phil Wilson, nice lecture, 16 responses. Once again, Phil Wilson, I like it. And it's got four responses and it's got amazing. Now, if it's not quite in the right position, just before we go ahead and check it out, what you can do is, for example, go ahead to the row above and you can change the padding at the bottom. So right now it looks a little bit tight, so you could just keep dragging it until it looks pretty good, which I'm happy with. You can also have a look on the mobile view for the same exact thing. So I'm just going to drag this out probably 10, maybe even 15, 20. We'll go 20. So that looks pretty good. I'm all happy. So I'm going to go ahead, click Save Changes. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead, click on preview. And as you can see, it's already just been added as fast and simple as that. You now have a comment section inside of your course module. Now, this isn't a global thing. You are going to have to add in this comment section on every module or every lesson inside of your course. However, I might even just leave this on the first one. Reason being, I don't want to go ahead and have to check every single course page. Instead, I just want to check the main one, which is this here. You could even create a dedicated questions and answers page if you wish as well it's really entirely up to you anyway that's it let's go ahead and test it so i might say hey i oh it's great to be here right click on send and as you can see boom the first one has been added and if this was someone else i can actually go ahead and click reply and it's going to reply to this thread which is pretty cool and i might say awesome to have you here too click on send and as you can see we now have one response and you can also fold the responses so it is hidden so you can keep all of the different comment comment threads all nice and uh, nested so it's pretty cool anyway i thought i would shoot this quick video once again it's so very easy to use and it just uses your standard logins to actually provide the names of your students as well as the images that they have inside of their personal profiles inside of system so you don't actually have to do anything else all you need to do is drag in the modules section on each page you want it to go and you will be done so that's basically it guys super quick and easy once again if it's your first time on this channel make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't yet make sure you hit that thumbs up button and apart from that thanks for stopping by and i look forward to seeing you on the next video